Hello everybody, Budley Neck here. Welcome to Mods of the Week. This week's shout out goes to Corrupted Entity YT on Reddit. Thank you so much for the kind words and I'm pretty happy that I'm growing this fast too. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. We have got 10 very cool mods to go over this week. And this week, they're mostly Forge mods. Let's get to them. Witch Hexes is a Forge 116 mod that adds nine hexes that you can use to curse your fellow players. To craft a hex, throw the ingredients and a catalyst into a cauldron of water. And if you get it right, you'll see a puff of particles above the cauldron. You can use three types of catalysts for different results. If you use a book, it will store the hex and you can add it to something later in the crafting table, or you can right click someone with the book to hex them. If you use a bone needle with blood on it and the blood's owner is online, they'll be hexed. To get blood on a bone needle, right click a player with it or shift right click to get your own blood. And if you use any other item, that item will be hexed and whoever holds the item other than the caster will get the curse. The hexes are all pretty fun ways to mess with your friends. Lost Tongue will make everything you say in chat gibberish. There's Backwards, which inverts all motion controls. Fake Fear will make you see mobs that aren't real. Animal Fear causes all animals to run away from you. Starvation will hide the hunger bar. Darkness will give random amounts of darkness at random times. Slippery Hands will cause you to occasionally drop the item in your main hand, and Sleep will not allow you to sleep. The only way you can remove a hex is with milk. Guns Without Roses is a Forge 116 mod that adds a few simple Terraria-like guns to Minecraft. Currently, it adds five types of guns. Iron, which is just a good basic beginner gun, Gold, which has lower durability but good enchantability. Diamond Shotgun, which fires a spread of bullets and is good for short range. The Diamond Sniper fires accurate, high damage bullets. And the Diamond Gatling Gun, which fires a stream of bullets for continuous damage. This mod also adds four different types of bullets. Flint, Iron, Blaze, and Maws of Gluttony, which uses your hunger instead of bullets. And last but not least, it also adds four gun enchantments. Impact, which increases the damage. Bullseye increases accuracy. Sleight of hand increases your rate of fire. And preserving gives a chance to not consume ammo. I think this mod does a really good job of keeping a vanilla feel and keeping it simple. Window logging is a Forge 115 and 116 mod that allows you to place glass panes inside of slabs and stairs. This is a port of the glass logging feature from Create 1.14. Plantable Flower Pots is a Fabric 116 mod that allows you to plant flowers in flower pots and harvest them with shears when they bloom. This is a very simple and kind of realistic way to get flowers in Minecraft. I just wanted to let you know that I do have this set to 1000 times the normal growth speed for the sake of the video. The pots don't actually grow flowers this fast. The Flexible Skills mod is a Forge 113, 114, and 115 mod with an interesting new approach to adding skills and keeping a nice balance to the game. The mod adds 90 passive skills split into three categories, positive, negative, and unique. For each positive skill that you add, you must add a negative, and you have the option to add a unique, although it's not required. Every skill, positive, negative, and unique, costs three Minecraft levels to add. Along with all the expected Minecraft skills that you'll find, like plus melee damage, efficiency, and mending, they've added some pretty original skills too, like Cartoon, Monochromatic, and Gardener. This mod opens the possibility to have classes and enhance multiplayer. Here's a list of all the skills that are added by this mod. I'm going to page down through them very quickly, but if you want to take a closer look, you can scrub back and pause it to read it if you want. Gilded Armor is a very simple Forge 116 mod that takes upgrading armor one step further. 
This mod allows you to upgrade netherite armor with gold, making piglins peaceful without having to wear gold armor. This is a great mod for those of you that are forgetful like me and don't want to wear a piece of gold armor all the time. Chest Cavity is a Fabric 116 mod that lets you personalize your character from the inside out. Using a chest opener, you can open a second inventory full of organs, bones, and muscles. All of these have different benefits to your character, and you have to experiment to find out exactly what they do. For example, if you remove your lungs, nothing seems to happen until you try to swim. And if you remove your muscles, your damage and your speed go down. These all work in the opposite way too. So the more muscles that you have, the more damage you do and the faster you go. And the more lungs you have, the longer you can stay underwater. As you play, mobs will drop organs that you can use to customize your character however you like. I think although this is a little bit gruesome, this mod has the perfect mix of humor and creativity and allows the players to experiment like any good sandbox game should. Get XP for Everything is a Forge 112, 114, 115, and 116 mod that allows you to get XP for mining and for crafting. By default, for every 100 blocks broke and 100 crafting recipes crafted, you get a small amount of XP. The higher your level, the more experience that you get. For the sake of the video, I've adjusted the config to give XP for every 2 instead of every 100. This mod is very configurable, allowing you to adjust pretty much everything about it, and even has a blacklist slash whitelist option to limit what blocks or what crafting gives XP. Weapon Throw is a Forge 116 mod that adds the ability to throw tools. You have to charge your throw similar to a bow using the throw hotkey, which by default is Alt Q. This mod also adds three new enchantments that can be used on swords and axes. Grounded Edge, which gives a chance to apply weakness. Throw, which adds more throw damage. And Concussion, which gives a chance to apply nausea and slowness. Builders, Crafts, and Additions is a Forge 115 and 116 mod that adds an enormous amount of items to the game. There are vertical slabs and pillars, tons of storage options with kitchen counters, cabinets, shelves, and cupboards, each with all the vanilla wood variants and many stone variants for the counters. There are bookshelves that you can store books in, and they actually raise the enchanting level of your enchanting table. There are plenty of seating options with stools, benches, and sofas, each with tons of variants. It adds tables, candles, and bedside tables. There are hedges that work like fences, a couple of very nice looking iron fences, a self-supporting iron ladder, a gravel path block, a wooden shop sign, a cross rail, barrel planters that you can grow crops in, and my personal favorite, an arcade game of snake that actually works. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We will see you guys next time. I'm going to keep playing some snake. <laughs>